Well, hello there, Scorpio. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot, and this is a general reading for the collective for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Scorpio for the week of July 4th. If this one isn't resonating, Scorpio, please check out your natal chart and my other readings, specifically your moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You may want to do that anyway, since there could be messages there for you. We're looking at the overall energy here. I'm also going to pull cards for your person. I'll clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Please like and subscribe for me since I post weekly. If you want your own private reading, you can find all of my info down below in the description box, along with the link to get the extended. If you want uh, the extended readings for every single sign for an entire month, it's 10 bucks. All right, so... We have some movement here in this situation or communication with the Eight of Wands. And that is incoming. It's something coming in and it's coming in fast. So we have heart to heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And there are some feelings here because the Two of Cups has shown up as well. I think you're going to be getting some communication from this person. Forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. This could be an apology. It could be by way of like someone learning and growing and maybe becoming a better version of themselves here. And I think this is going to leave you at a crossroads. We've got both the two of pentacles and the two of wands. Um, they tend to be decision-making cards. Two of Pentacles is weighing your options. It's going back and forth. Two of Pentacles can also mean someone with a lot of balls in the air or a lot of commitments, that they're juggling all of these, you know, different situations and priorities. Two of Wands is making a long-term decision for yourself. You can see, like, she's standing up on this balcony so she can see, you know, far, far in the distance, this is really taking a look at your life path here. I think this communication, whatever form it takes, is going to leave you trying to make a decision here, um, leave you at a crossroads. All right, um, let's pull this person's energy and we'll see what's up. Oh, okay, Scorpio, it's time to buckle up here. Um, this person, Eight of Cups in Reverse, is someone coming back towards you. Um, it's someone who hasn't been able to emotionally disconnect. Eight of Cups really is someone walking away. There are all of these cups in the background. It's someone um, leaving a painful situation or a disappointing situation in the past. In the reverse, that's not the case. This person, I think, is having regrets. Five of Cups, also about emotion. Cups are about relationships, our feelings. This is someone looking back at what they might have done or what they could have said or, you know, what if I had done this instead of that? It's also looking at what you've lost. With the Nine of Wands showing up here along with the Seven of Wands, I think that this person still carries a torch for you. I think they haven't been able to shake this relationship. They haven't been able to get over it. And they're wanting to fight for it now with the Seven of Wands. A Seven of Wands can be defensive behavior or someone who's kind of standoffish. It can also mean like I'm willing to do the work here. Since it's showing up with the Seven of Pentacles, to me, Seven of Pentacles is changing up what you do. You can see she's staring at this Monstera plant like, mm, this isn't quite working for me. I need to change up what I'm doing. I need to put in more effort. Whatever it is, this person has decided that this relationship is worth working for, worth working on. Let's pull another card here. And then I'm going to clarify it with, mm, let's do the Tarot of Mystical Moments. Um, you can find links to both of those down below. All right. So yeah, we've got the death card. This is Scorpio energy. This is your major arcana. Um, death is about change. This is also you and your power. You're showing up in their energy. 
I don't think that they've been able to leave this relationship behind. They haven't been able to get over you. Um, they're still emotionally attached here. All right, let's clarify it. All right, so what is going on with Scorpio's person? And in a second here, I'm also going to pull a card for how they're currently feeling about you. All right. Yeah, we've got the seven of wands. Uh, that has shown up twice. Whenever I have reoccurring cards like that, it's confirmation. This person is wanting to fight for this connection. They're willing to stand up for it um, because with that nine of wands, they haven't completely given up on it. They're still carrying a torch for you. So all right, three of pentacles, and we've got the queen of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo energy. This person could be an earth sign. You could have earth in your chart. Sometimes the queen of pentacles is the married queen. I love her. She's always pictured with bunnies, by the way. You can see them in the bottom corner. Three of Pentacles is collaboration, conversations, cooperation. This is someone, again, who is really wanting to work on this connection. There may have been, you know, big issues here. They've got regrets with that Five of Cups. They believe that it's worth saving. They believe that it's valuable. All these Pentacles are showing up because this is someone wanting to put in effort and time and energy. And again, valuing this connection. All right, let's see what else comes out. What's going on with a Scorpio's person? We've got the temperance card, Sagittarius energy, being patient. This is also wanting to achieve balance between the two of you. Um... They may have been more of a taker than a giver. There may have been some inequality between the two of you. It's also being patient. I will also say that sometimes Sagittarius, um, the temperance card, it shows one person, well, I think it's an angel. They've got one like leg in the water, one leg on land. So this person could have had like one foot in and one foot out of this relationship. That could lead to that regrets there. Sagittarius in general is known for being a little bit more uh, commitment phobic. I say that as someone with the moon in Sagittarius. Kind of a free spirit. That's not a bad thing all the time, but it can make them a little bit less prone to relationships. And the Sagittarius energy is showing up here. All right, we've got the moon in reverse, and we've got the three of cups. Three of cups is a reconciliation card. It's a reason to celebrate. There may have been a third party situation here. Don't always go to the romantic third party. It could have been a like, family member. It could have been their career, especially with that two of pentacles, which is juggling priorities. The moon in reverse is both Cancer and Pisces energy. And it's someone wanting to be very open and honest with you. So let's do how this person is currently feeling about you. So how is this person currently feeling about Scorpio? This is a little preview of the extended. We do feelings, intentions, and the advice. Hmm. We've got the emperor. The emperor is the divine masculine. It's the father, the husband. It's bringing order to chaos. They may see you as someone who is kind of grounded and centered and stable, like you have yourself together. This person could view you as a partner, someone that they could have kids with, um, someone that they could be a partner with. They may also have a desire here to fix this relationship, to get it back on track. The emperor is kind of... Um, it's an orderly sort of energy, like let's clean this up, let's get it together, let's make some decisions, let's move forward. I do think that you are going to be left with a lot of decisions here. 
I do think that this is going to throw you for a loop. I don't think you were expecting it. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe since I post weekly. If you want the extended, click the join button or look for the link in the description box. And while you're there, you can also find out how to order your own private reading. All right. Blessed be.